my research at Memorial University in the Green Chemistry Group, um, we're focused on trying to contribute to the big CO2 uh, issue in the world and society today. What we're looking at is making biodegradable plastics using carbon dioxide as a feedstock and taking that carbon dioxide that's in the atmosphere, putting it into something useful and helping to contribute to the overall plastic crisis at the same time. We need plastics in our everyday lives, right? So, you know, if you think of third world countries, if it wasn't for plastics, they wouldn't have access to clean drinking water, stuff like that. If you think in hospitals, things need to be one use for sterilization effects. So can we make a material that allows that use but then when it's done and it becomes a waste product, it's not harming the environment at the other end of its life. So the material we're trying to create is something that's going to break down in the environment at its end of use. We want to have chemical bonds in our materials that nature is actually capable of breaking down already. So nature actually knows best when it comes to these materials. Can we mimic something that's out there that bacteria can break down rather than the materials that are out there now that are sourced from petroleum that are more man-made, where nature itself isn't as good at breaking these things down because they haven't had to. The Vanier Scholarship is the most prestigious scholarship you can receive as a PhD student pursuing studies in Canada. So it's open to Canadian citizens as well as international students. Um, and it's a scholarship that funds you to pursue PhD studies. It's $50,000 a year for three years, um, non-taxable since it's a scholarship, um, and it allows me to focus 100% on my research without having that financial burden of trying to live on your own and pay your tuition and travel and stuff like that. So it kind of takes away that and allows us to really focus on what we're here to do and is contribute to the scientific community as a whole during our PhD studies. Uh, so it's really, it's a really rewarding and very honored to uh, be recognized as a Vanier Scholar. So even though I have a Vanier Scholarship, um, I do take the option in teaching, being a teaching assistant and teaching labs uh, for undergraduate students. It's just such a rewarding experience and it's, you get so much more out of teaching and interacting with undergrads. I think being able to give back to the students like that is uh, really, really rewarding. I think it's really important for students to get to know your professors and get to know these people because they're there to help you. And if it wasn't for all the mentors I had along the way that helped me and gave me guidance and you know, you have these people to bounce ideas off of, I wouldn't be where I am. Where I did my undergrad, there was only one female prof and the rest were all male. And she was actually the one that really you know, helped me along the way. I think for a young female pursuing a PhD in this field, it's important for us to really have those female role models helping us along the way. And of course there are the male role models that recognize the challenges as well and they're very helpful at the same time. So it's more or less not necessarily male or female but having the people to help you overcome the challenges. So you need to love what you're doing, you need to be a hard worker, you need to surround yourself with people to help you succeed and everything else kind of falls into place.